morning welcome back to my channel and welcome back to uh, clan william lodge uh, we came yesterday from uh, the aquila game reserve there by tosrafir all through the cedarburg mountains and then we uh, slept over here at the clan william lodge last night so today we're also going to be going through some dirt roads through the cedarburg mountains up to uh, uh, Papke Fontaine, so ready for another exciting day. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Yeah, so we came here to the Englishman's grave, which was actually a, a Scot who got uh, shot here in uh, 1901 by uh, some of the Boer uh, fighters who were uh, fighting against the British in the war at that time and uh, yeah, the story goes is that uh, this uh, Scotsman's uh, sister used to come for 44 years every year all the way to Cape Town on a ship and then on a horse and buggy to come and lay flowers here at his grave and uh, yeah apparently a few years ago uh, they also realized that uh, this uh, Scotsman was actually not even exactly buried here, but they found his body about 10 kilometers away from here. It's a seriously beautiful area here. We're gonna go from here now on the dirt roads again. And uh, yeah, driving through the Cedarbergs. The town of uh, New Vaudeville. New Woutville has a rich heritage with streets lined with charming Cape Dutch buildings. Local restaurants and farm stalls serve up hearty meals featuring fresh locally sourced ingredients, ensuring a delightful culinary experience. Here we are in New Woutville at the De Blauhuis, the Blue House. We're going to have a bit of lunch here. We're also going to stay not too far from here tonight. Springbok sculptures. Wow, this is seriously nice. The last Mad Max film, Fury Road, was predominantly shot in Namibia in 2012, taking advantage of the country's diverse and desolate landscapes, which perfectly captured the post-apocalyptic settings of the film. Some of the vehicles was built in South Africa and Namibia, and these ones was brought back to New Vaudeville. Get in on this side. Oh, even got a radio. Look at that. Flame cut off. In springtime, New Vaudeville is surrounded by vast expanses of stunning wildflowers that carpet the region. These round-leaved cactus are the Opuncha cactus, they're commonly known as prickly pears. It's a desert plant characterized by flat, paddle-shaped stems covered in sharp spines. It's native to the Americas and is known for its vibrant, showy flowers and prickly pear fruits. This is the Popcoil Fontaine, so we're going to be staying tonight. But yeah, this is an uh, old farmhouse here on the Northern Cape. a little bit of a farm tour later on as well. Uh, we're here on uh, Popcoil's Fontaine Farm. 
This is a, uh, a sheep farm here in the Northern Cape, just outside of uh, Nieuwoudville. Sheep farming in the Northern Cape province thrives in this region's semi-arid climate. The province is renowned for its vast expanses of open grazing land, making it an ideal location for sheep rearing. Farmers in the Northern Cape focus on raising sheep breeds suited for the conditions, such as the hardy and adaptable Dorper and the Mara breeds. There's actually quite a lot of lichen growing. You can see all these green and black things growing on the rock. It's called uh, lichen. I can just tell you a little bit about lichen. It's, that, uh, it's actually a symbiosis between algae and fungi. It's that uh, Fungi provides uh, filaments for the algae to grow in. Algae will collect moisture to feed the fungi. It's not a plant because it uh, doesn't die. It can last for thousands of years, just uh, deteriorating when there's not enough minerals in the moisture in the atmosphere. And so there's also several birds and animals that will be eating the lichen. This valley is the Oorlogskloof Canyon, a rugged and picturesque mountainous area. I would like to take here an opportunity to uh, also thank We all would also like to thank uh, Pop Girls for Tain for their uh, hospitality. This is the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will visit the motorcycle collection in New Vaudeville. Thank you for watching. See you next time.